today to Canyonville to look at a house. Maybe one in Roseburg too, you never know. But this is the weather. We've seen accidents all the way down. This isn't as bad as it's been. It's, it's been worse than this. Just some big accidents on the other side. Flying by, doing 90. So we're at the Seven Feathers Casino Resort and RV Park, I think, too. Casino Resort. And this is uh, in Canyonville, Oregon. It's a beautiful little place. It's It's been around a while, but it's so well kept. It's not even funny. There's not a speck of dirt on the ground, on the ground anywhere. And then when you get out into the courtyards in between the buildings, they have, the, they have plastic trees that look like real trees in the daytime, even though they are gaudy colors. And then at night they light them up, each, each leaf lights. It's very cool. The, the tree looks like a real tree. So we're at the seven Feathers Casino in Canyonville, Oregon. And this is probably one of the nicest Indian casino uh, resort hotels that I've seen. It's very, you know, rustic, very western, very it looks more more southwestern than it does northwestern but it's it's still nice and it's got a lot of the, the the woodwork up at the top that would be something that you'd see in the native uh architecture and other embellishments also but kind of like alaskan or almost eskimo-ish but these lights on these trees they're plastic trees. The whole tree is fake, but it looks real. And the lights are um, each leaf. During the daytime, those pink ones are all bright pink leaves, and then those were white leaves on those ones. It's quite nice.
one of the courtyards. And the parking lot, which is spotlessly clean. Everything is clean and nice. You can hear the freeway from here because it's right there. I mean, right, right there. So it's, it's not that loud. One drawback was when we got here, we were in one room that had an adjoining door to the next room. And uh, you could hear every word these people were saying. They weren't even talking loud. It was really annoying. So we switched rooms to another room, which is much, much better. And they switched us right away. It was no, no problem, no questions asked. Well, they asked why, but that was, that was just goes without saying. In the elevator. Seven Feathers Casino Resort, 30 year anniversary, best in the Northwest. I tend to agree, they've been very nice to us. like it's sprinkling out. You hear a truck on the freeway. I'm, I'm at Seven Feathers Casino and resort where Jay Leno will be playing uh, in Canyonville, Oregon. We came down here to buy, to look at a house to buy that I had my heart set on. The house was perfect for everything that we needed. And I had never been here before, but I was just going by what was online. And it was just perfect and it still would be. But we missed out on the, on the, on the house. Someone else got it before we did. We didn't get a chance to see it and uh, having driven down here for three hours and then being told five minutes away that oh it's gone I, I can't even tell you I mean I was I was just irate it, at one point I was just crushed um, I was so disappointed and at the same time I know common sense says you know this is this is the way it is for whatever reason who knows maybe they Maybe they won't work out. Something will happen with their offer. But I haven't seen the inside of the house still because it's already been put on contract. So I still haven't seen the inside of the house. We drove by it. It's on the same road here as this. Straight down one road through the middle of town. And the downtown is cute as hell. It's just cute as anything. It's got everything you need. It's got a post office, fire station, grocery store, laundromat, another supermarket restaurants, uh, antique stores, blah, blah, blah. It's got every, a garden shop, a hardware store, a pharmacy. It's got everything. And it's like a Mayberry, but more Daniel Boone-ish, more Sasquatch, kind of. And then Northwestern. And then you go across this tiny little bridge, and then it's like an old, old barn with a tin roof. And this is like two little lanes. And then you, the house was right up on the on the right, with a, a garage and a separate back of it that was like a, a hangar that the whole trailer could fit into. But anyways, we're here, 
and uh, I'm going to continue to look in this area. This is a nice place. This area is just far enough from everything and still close enough to things. If you really need something, it'll be like an hour away. Uh, Grants Pass. Um, the next town up is Riddle. And then there's Roseburg, which is a decent size, I guess. I don't know, but I'm going to still look in this area. The people were very nice. I haven't seen any crazy uh, religious shit or, or political crap in people's yards. Um, the homes are modest, very, very modest, but well maintained. And the air is so fresh and clean. It's just like unbelievable. And granted, yes, we're I'm 100 feet from the freeway, so I'm hearing the freeway noises. But in general, down here, you're, you're going to hear nothing at night but crickets and deer possums I mean this is this is nice it's so quiet usually but I'm gonna to continue to look and as far as so far with seven feathers we give it a thumbs up they've been very nice and they've been very accommodating so you know so if you do come here get one of the rooms at the end uh, it's like 341 241 uh, 441 and then right there where you are, you're the last room on the aisle, on the corridor, and you've got your Pepsi machine, your ice machine, and directly across from your room is the elevator, which comes directly to the door to go outside to do crazy movies and smoke weed. Of course. Anyways, it's been a better night than it has been a day. Uh, oh, we won money at the casino too. Honey won a ton of fucking money so basically our stay here is free <laughs> yeah and the mattress is nice and the pillows are good so I, f I, I recommend seven feathers hey we're at the seven feathers casino in Canyonville Oregon and it's a nice place it's a real nice place um, I'm basically right here. I'm just duplicating some video I did on my camera. This is this is on my phone. Uh, a loud woman over there yelling. Yeah, she thinks she is. Feels corner. It's like a fire hydrant or something. A fire alarm. I'm just standing outside the casino, Seven Feathers Casino, and uh, oh, Fog Hat will be appearing here. I like this sign. Seniors Day is free play giveaway. Thursday, someday, I don't know. It's a live auction. They have all sorts of stuff here. It's a nice place, but hear that? That's where I came out. I wanted to listen to see how loud is the truck noise actually, because the freeway is right there. That those those lights, those lights of the freeway. Let's see. Here's a truck going up, or something. the police just pulled into the driveway it's very clean and nice Oop, here's traffic Sheriff with K9. 
Busy truck. Yeah. It's a double one. And that's a car. So a pickup truck speeding. So that's what the noise would be. But it would be all night. not that bad it's just different than the traffic noise that we have where we are where we are it's all stop and go and screeching brakes and pounding pavements and you know bangs and also the grinding and trucks backing up and the beep 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 and it's like 20 feet from our head this is a lot quieter goes the sheriff again. And this one going up the hill. I don't know. I don't think that would be so bad. Seven Feathers Casino, as you can see the sign says, Welcome to Canyonville. And we're going to take our left. We're at the very northern edge of downtown, up the city, of the town, at the casino. So now we go straight down, head to south on Main Street. One Main Street. There's that I 5 freeway along the side of the town completely for the whole length of the town. And you can hear the traffic noise though. Overnight. Now we're coming into Canyonville. This is auto places, Mexican restaurants. station, the Penny Pincher, where we will stop on our way home. We're just filming the street so that we can remember it as we actually saw it. Four fifty nine a gallon, not bad. It's cheaper than Portland. And then the Dollar General we went to yesterday. And there's a geodome house over here behind a church. Ray's food place, that's one of the supermarkets. It's a Pepsi town, not a Coke town. And then we're in downtown now. Which is under Adelaide. North 
Main Street now. We're over the bridge. South, or South Bridge, yeah, South. There's the bottom. Casino, the full length of the main street through the downtown into the residential area, and that was it at that point. That was the whole entire town on the main street. I like it here a lot. It's cute as hell. Stop in front of the house. Yeah. Stop in front of the house. This is the brook that runs behind the house. garage is small and then the back of it's wide open and would fit on Google Earth I saw pictures they had a trailer in there. Okay. They're very uh with the blue stripe I guess they're very into you know, the police and the law enforcement in the USA. Stores open. Just for a minute, maybe. Oh God, this place is all nicked.
to Canyonville to look at a house. Maybe one in Roseburg too, you never know. But this is the weather. We've seen accidents all the way down. This isn't as bad as it's been. It's, it's been worse than this. Just some big accidents on the other side. Flying by, doing 90.
my sexy honey me. Oh, with the Jeep? Hell you. I don't know about that. Mr. Driver Man, because you're the man. I'm driving because I'm the man. You're that seat because you're 